Oh, Jimmy, why don't you tell your father what happened at school today? I'm pretty sure he's not interested. <laughs> no, please, tell me. Jimmy took his shirt off and was running around the schoolyard and everyone was laughing at him. He took your shirt off? Well, it started with the shirt. It wasn't my fault. I've got spring break fever. You know, baby, I've been thinking that since the boys have some time off, you know, maybe we could take a little trip with the family. Baby, now is not a good time. I got a lot of things happening at the shop. Tracy, it's never a good time. The last vacation we took was our honeymoon. I remember that. That was fun. <laughs> you weren't on our honeymoon. You weren't even a glimmer in your father's eye. What about Derek? He wasn't there either, although he may have been a glimmer. about a big vacation. It's just a little trip upstate. It's not safe to go running around upstate with all that's happening in the Middle East. My friend Tommy's going to Florida. Your friend Tommy has irresponsible parents. I love my family. That's why I'm not taking y'all anywhere. Mm. You know, Tracy, maybe you're right. Boys, how about we get up tomorrow, we grab a pizza, and we go to the park? Or maybe we shouldn't with the situation up in North Korea. Baby, I have my own business. I have to make sacrifices. If I stop working as hard as I've been, instead of fixing cars, we could wind up living in a car. That'd be cool. Can we live in a race car? <laughs> or a tank? We are never going to live in a car. And if we did, it would be something nice like a Hummer. We get one of them privacy glasses. I feel another glimmer coming on. <laughs> Come on, man. I grew up on the wrong side of town. All my life, people putting me down. Had a dream about being a king. So I work real hard. Now I'm doing my thing. Love my wife and I love my kids. Don't want to see them struggle like I did. I guess now and then the sun do shine. And I hope you love your life, because, man, I'm loving mine. I've hit upon an amazing marketing idea for your garage. It's an air freshener with the name of your business on it. 50 cents a piece. You think that's going to bring me more customers? Absolutely. It uses the power of scent for advertisement. I call it odortizement. Put me down for 50. Minimum order's 10,000. I pass. 50 it is. Hey, Bernard, when you went to New Orleans last year, were you able to relax and forget about work? No, I couldn't, Tracy. I mean, I was in the middle of Mardi Gras, but all I kept thinking about was you and brake pads. <laughs> oh, you're thinking about taking a vacation? No, not me. Alicia is. But she doesn't understand all the responsibility I have around here. I can't afford to just pick up and go away. You can't afford not to. You remind me of my Uncle Philip. He was a magician. Never took one day of vacation in his entire life. Worked himself to the point of exhaustion. He collapsed right there on the stage and killed that little bunny he was hiding in his pants. <laughs> What kind of magician keeps a bunny in his pants? Well, I don't think that bunny was part of his act. <laughs> no, I don't need a vacation. I'm in perfect health, and I don't have a bunny in my pants. Tracy, you work harder than anybody I know. Yeah, what's the use of working so hard that you can't stop to enjoy yourself? Huh? maybe. Hey, Spoon, yeah. I ain't trying to diss your uncle or nothing, but what's more compelling to me than a magician is a ventriloquist. Now, that, that takes some talent. Yeah, I love a ventriloquist. You know what my favorite part of the ventriloquist act is? Is when he's trying to put the dummy in the suitcase, but the dummy don't want to go in the suitcase. I do not want to go in the suitcase. This is my damn show. Get in the suitcase. I am not getting in the suitcase. Get in the suitcase. I said I'm not getting... <laughs> me up, okay? Hey, everybody. Who wants to go fishing? Fishing? That's right. I rented a cabin upstate on Lake George. I'm taking my family on vacation. Yeah! Tracy, wow, this wow. is great. We are mm -hmm. going to have so much fun. That's right. That's right. Lake George sounds okay, but I'd rather go to Cleveland. <laughs> Why do you want to go to Cleveland? Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, brother. You kids are going to love this. We can go hiking, cut our own wood, and even catch a fish. You know how to fish? Are you kidding? Every summer, me and my boys, we get on the D train, and we go to Coney Island, and we would fish for hours. 
What's the biggest thing you ever caught? An artificial leg? It was this big. Tracy. All right, it was this big. But it still had the black sock and the sandal on it, which makes me think it belonged to an older German gentleman. This is cozy. I paid extra for the cozy. Hey, check it out. It's a buffalo. That's not a buffalo. That's a moose. Whatever it is, it rammed its head right through the wall. Why don't you guys go exploring? Okay, let's go around back and slap that thing on the butt. <laughs> Baby, I know going away like this is a big deal for you, and I am so proud mm -hmm. of you. If I've told Spoon to turn on the alarm, I better call him. You told me you turned the cell phone off once we got here. Baby, baby, you know what? You are absolutely right. We are on vacation. Here we go. I'm turning it off. Okay? It's okay. off. All right. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Mama, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and check on the blueberry trees we saw on the trail. I'm gonna go see if they're ready to be picked and stuff. Because I sometimes you know how I like the uh, blueberries in my muffin and stuff in the morning. You might decide to put them in the eggs and stuff like that. So <laughs> check on those blueberries down the road over there. Okay, but leave the phone here. Okay, fine. Here it is. Nope, the blueberries are still a little tart. Tracy, Tracy, baby, I know relaxing does not come easy for you, but you've already done the hardest part. So forget about work, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay right. I promise. Okay. okay. Look at all these things I found. There's hundreds of them out there. Some truck must have overturned. <laughs> Jimmy, it's a pine cone. Hey, listen, I know we don't have a lot of these in the Bronx, but it's still a part of nature. Mmm, go ahead, smell it. Hit me with that again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yes. So what do you do with it? Put it in your underwear drawer. Make your underpants smell like Christmas. <laughs> oh, got me another one. <laughs> now how come that guy's catching all the fish? Uh, he's just lucky. Our time will come. But you gotta be quiet and keep your voice down because the fish can hear you. They can't? You're not gonna catch anything using those night crawlers. You can borrow one of my lures. I'm really going for these shiny wigglers. Can we then? No, son, because using anything other than a worm is cheating. Thanks, Pops, but I know a little bit about fishing. Yeah, my dad caught a leg. <laughs> okay, fellas, the most important thing about fishing is knowing how to cast. You wanna pick a spot where you think the fish are congregating, like this. I think I got one. Oh, yeah, you do. Reel him in nice and slow. Be careful. You don't want him to snap the line, baby. Do you think there's anything I can do to help? Yeah, massage my shoulders while I bring this bad boy in. <laughs> That's right. Bring him close to the dock. I'm going to get my shoe ready. Uh -huh. Oh, pops, look. Old school. Night crawlers. Ah. We have returned from a successful hunt, stoked the fires. Tonight, we eat fish. That I call. <laughs> Jimmy, don't drag that thing on the ground. That's our dinner. Oh. <laughs> Great. Great. Uh, it's a little small, isn't it? Yeah, the smaller ones is harder to catch. They, they could barely get their mouths around the hook. <laughs> well, this, this is going to be so good. You know what? I'm just going to make some hamburgers as a side dish. Yeah, well. <laughs> Go ahead and jump on that. <laughs> you know something, baby? I can really see myself living up here. Eating berries, catching fish with my teeth, and sleeping all through the winter. Oh, so you want to be a bear? Yeah, I want to be a bear. Raccoon! No, baby, I told you a bear. Like a grizzly? Uh, uh. Raccoon! <laughs> Ooh. Nobody do anything dumb. You're right, Dad. Just toss him you want it. <laughs> 
not here to rob us, Jimmy. And why is he wearing that 